Hi everyone, welcome back to Tootsie Tuesday. Excited to be sharing the set of toes that match this set of nails, these gorgeous pink flamingos. But for starters, as always, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell underneath that so you're notified whenever I upload a new video, share around this channel to help this channel to grow, and definitely shoot me a thumbs up. Let's get started, everyone. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. Happy Tootsie Tuesday. These gorgeous pink flamingo toes. I can't wait for you guys to see. So let's go ahead and take a look. Come on, aren't those adorable? I don't know why I've never thought to do a pink flamingo. I just love it. It's so tropical, so summer-like, and I just love the way this turned out. I'm so glad that I started with a certain design and turned it into something completely different into these pink flamingos. I love them. I think they're adorable and the toes are just as cute and I had so much fun doing it. And in the um, this video, just like in the nail video, I didn't show how I did the loop and the French tip. I wanted you guys to see that I actually did a video in the nail video and lost the footage. So I actually do it on a nail and I'm gonna throw that in this clip too because I had already done the toes too. So you guys can get an idea because the toes were done identical to the fingernails or whatever, exactly the same way the way I looped it. So I just show you on a fake nail, I just show you how I did it. But before we get on and you get to see this video and how I did this adorable design, let's read our words of Jesus for women. Always putting God first, most important. All right, today we're on talk is cheap, Mark 7, 6. These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. This is a good one, guys. Now, let's listen to the analogy on this. This is a really good one to live by because how many people walk around claiming to be a Christian, but are they truly, truly a Christian? You can claim to be anything, but if you're not walking right with God, just like this verse says, these people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Your heart can be as far away from God as possible, but you can be you know, claiming you're a Christian. So make sure you're right with God. Let's read this analogy. Blah, blah, blah. So you know all the Christian words to say, good for you. Or a big, so what? The truth is that just saying Christian words doesn't mean you are honoring or serving God. Oh, sure, it may look like you are, and you may be fooling others or even yourself, but you're not fooling God. What's happening in your heart is the true measurement of your relationship with him. Don't bother with the fancy words in your heart I mean, don't bother with fancy, fancy words in your heart is, don't bother with the fancy words if your heart is full of selfishness or evil. Ask him to clean up your heart and then honest words will come naturally. See guys, I mean, listen to that analogy. You know, again, we can all claim to be a Christian, but behind closed doors, we can be completely somebody different. But guess who knows exactly if we're Christian or not? God. You cannot fool God. He knows the true heart. So, you know, when you are, are bashing somebody or hurting somebody behind their back and then claiming to be a Christian, that is not Christ-like. Jesus would never want you to ever hurt anyone. He would never want you to bash anyone. He would want you to live that Christ-like as, you know, as great as possible. Do we all make mistakes? Yes. Do I make mistakes? Yes. Am I perfect? No, because I'm human. That's why Jesus died on the cross. But one thing I do is I try my hardest to be as honest as I can with people, to live the best Christian life that I can, and to not hurt people. Sure, I make mistakes, but I try to bring it to God. I don't bring it to my channel. I don't like the drama on my channel. You know, I bring it to Jesus. I talk to Jesus about it. Hey, Jesus, we got to talk. And I bring it to the Lord because I want to be the best that I can for God, as Christ-like as I can. And I want to help all of you. When I read these verses, they are truly for me to help me. And I hope I touch somebody else's heart out there that maybe is saying, you know, yeah, maybe I'm not living that great Christian life like I should be. I, I really need to be walking better with Christ because, you know, I say one thing and I do another. God sees everything. So be, you know, the best that you can. And God knows when you truly are trying and you're being the, you know, the Christian that you need to be, that you're claiming to be. God knows the truth. 
So just be the best that you can and be true. Don't be fake. There's no reason to be fake because you can fake people out, sure, but you can't fake God out. And you'll know when this world ends, if you make it to heaven or hell, you'll know if you were real or not. So just be real, be honest, be you know sincere to the Lord and spend that quality good time alone with Jesus. Give all your problems to Jesus. Give them to Jesus, not if, you know anybody else. And you're going to have tough days. We all are. But just, you know, remember, repent, say you're sorry, and try to move on from there. Because it gets buried in the bottom of the ocean when we get forgiven. It's buried at the deepest part of the ocean when we get forgiven. But then just try to be better. The bottom says, Dear Father, please search my heart and see if my words match what's in my heart. I want my worship for you to be honest. Teach me, Lord, to know you better and follow you more closely. In Jesus' name, amen. That is beautiful. You know, asking right there, please search my heart and see if the words match um, what's in my heart. Do they match? Are you truly being that Christian you need to be? Anyone can claim, you know, can claim to be whatever you want to be. You can claim to be anything. I'm Superman, but am I really Superman? I can fool a lot of people, but... You know, saying you're a Christian, but not really being a Christian, God knows. That's all that matters. We don't need to prove it to anybody out there but God. Start your day, go through your day, go, <laughs> start your day, go through your day, and end your day with life's manual, the Holy Bible. Read it, study it, get a beautiful personal relationship with Jesus. Bring your problems to him. Tell him to take the will. When we're having issues and, and problems in our life, and you're always going to have enemies that will attack and hurt you, um, the devil will attack. He's, you know, he's the biggest enemy. But pray for those people. Pray for them. Do not be mean back. Pray for them and pray for nothing to hurt them, no harm to come upon them. Pray for them to have happiness. Because when somebody is, um, you know, hurting somebody else, it's because they are very unhappy in their life. They really are. When you're truly happy in your life, you're not going to have any issues. You're not going to care what other people think. You're truly not going to. So bring your problems to Jesus. Talk to Jesus about it. He wants you to bring it to him. He doesn't want you to bring it to the world. You know, that's just worldly things. Don't bring it to the world. Pick up this book, read it, study it. You'll learn a lot in here. This will teach you how you're supposed to live. And then you'll be that true Christian you need to be. So pick it up, study it, love it. It's God's word. He wrote it for a reason. So pick it up, read it, and study it and get that great personal relationship with Jesus. Get on those knees and pray, spending quality alone time with the Lord. And I'm telling that to myself because I'm doing as much as I can. But even I have days where it's like, oh gosh, I wish I would have spent more time with you. And I could have, you know, I just, sometimes we get busy with life, hustle and bustle, but there's always time for God. Always, always time for God. Make time for him. All right, guys, let's get on to this Tootsie Tuesday toe design, these pink flamingo toes. I love them. Absolutely love them. I hope you guys will enjoy this video. Everybody take care. God bless. And I'll see each and every one of you in my very next video upload. And I can't wait for you to see the Wear It Wednesday. Hey everyone. So here's what I chose to go with for this week's Tootsie Tuesday toe design for the summer. A beautiful tropical look with pink flamingos done in a marble design, glitter, and rhinestones. If you'd like to see how I did this one, continue watching. Hi everyone and welcome back to Tootsie Tuesday. Getting ready to do some beautiful tropical pink flamingos like the nails I did on Monday. First off, we started it off white because we're going to be adding in the Sharpie markers to do that beautiful marbling design. And of course, right now it looks like swans, but we're going to turn it into pink flamingos. Now I inserted the same... Um, video that I did in my nail video because I lost footage when I was showing how to do this loop design here, this French tip, and it goes into a loop. And I just figured I'm just going to insert it in this one too. I just ended up doing the toes then, but I'm going to insert that video to show you. I did it on a fake nail just so you guys can see how I did that with the Art Deco um, liner paint, how I just did the loop and, uh, you know, looped it around to do that French tip. And I'll show you how I did that. I'll insert that in here as well. It's on a fingernail, same concept on the toe. Um, the intentions I said in my nail video was to do a flower on the end of this tip. That's why I did that loop. And then when I seen it, it reminded me of a swan. I'm doing a tropical look. And I thought, oh my gosh, I swan, I need pink, pink flamingo. So I just got the idea to, you know, transform this look into a pink flamingo. Since it looks so much like a swan, 
I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to be using pinks. So I'm going to do a pink flamingo, something I have never done. And I just absolutely love the way the nails turned out. So I'm going to have fun doing the toes. Now we're just going to have the pink flamingo on the big toe. And then the rest are just done with the same liner paint. I just went across and did a line. Most people know how to do that. And then I'm going to be doing the Sharpie markers in them as well. And um, the... Uh, rubbing alcohol to spread the color, and I'll just be doing that on the tips. But this will be where the flamingo is. I always do the toes a little bit different if you're new to my channel, but it always matches with the nails. And then, of course, it follows with a Wear It Wednesday outfit that matches both the nails and the toes. All right, so let me go over the supplies. For the sheer color, I made this one. I did it back in a few videos ago. If you want to go back and look at it, this is just a uh, base and top coat I got from... Dollar Tree, it's clear, and then I just added in some pinks, and I have a video on that. I think it's in my Daisy Duke video. Um, the nail video is the nail that I did for that, so it'll just explain how I did it. Just add like 20 or 30 drops of, you know, a light baby pink, and then I added like two other ones, a little bit of a darker one, and shook it up. You can just make them however you want. You can make them to look like nudes by adding tan in. You can make them look pinks by adding baby pinks in, and different things like that, but I love the way it turned out. So that's the one I made. That's the sheer background. And then the white, I use this one here, the Art Deco. Like I said, it's just a white color I got from Dollar Tree. And that's how I did all of them. I just did it with this. You could use um, a paint brush, you know, I mean a polish and fill it in, you know, the tips and all that. But this was just easier to do it this way. So I used this, $1, can't beat it, plenty of paint to work with. So that's how I did it. And this one's just white is the color. And then I topped it off with the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat to dry everything up. So if I make a mistake, I can easily just use... 91% rubbing alcohol and rub it off. And that's what I'm going to be using as well uh, to do the Sharpie marker marbling design. And I'm going to be using these four colors here. Um, they are done in uh, pinks. It looks like they are purples, but these are definitely pinks. As you see on the cap there, it's a pink color. All right, but this one here is kind of a burgundy. I needed a color a little bit darker, like on the nails there, a little bit of a darker color in there. So I went with that. So I got a baby pink. Um, am I using the right ones? I think so. I think I'm using the right one. But anyway, so it's just the baby pink and then this pink here and then um, kind of a purplish pink and then like a burgundy color I'm using and they all turn out to look like that. So those are the colors and then I'm just going to use a brush in the 91% alcohol and I'll just put it in the cap here and you just use a flat brush after you put it on you just kind of scribble it on I'm going to show you how I do it and then you just use this and keep dipping off and then you get this beautiful design like that. Another way to do marbling it's so fun. All right and then through the design well first off for the sw um, swan for the pink flamingo I'm going to use the black acrylic paint and Robin Moses' brush, the wand. RobinMosesNailArt.com is how you order them. It's the wand. There's the tip. And that's going to be just to do the little beak and the eyeball like that. And then we'll be putting a crown on this pink flamingo with these crystals here. I'm going to be using those darker ones there, uh, the darker pink. And then these uh, Sawaski crystals here. We'll be putting a darker, uh, bigger one, a clear crystal in the middle. And we'll glue it down with the ASP glue and an orange wood stick. Got this from Sally's and the orange wood stick you can basically get anywhere. Uh-oh. <laughs> Just knocked a couple of stones out of that pack. I got to keep those closed. Here's the clear stones. Both those, the wheel of color. And this I got from Hobby Lobby. And then I'm going to run some silver through it like I did on here. You got the sparkle in there. I'm going to run some silver through it. Also the Art Deco from Dollar Tree. And when I'm all done, I'm going to top it off with the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat again to seal everything in and keep everything in place. All right, so let me get started and I'll come back in and show you guys what I'm doing. All right, everyone, I'm going to show you how I did this loop design here because as I recorded, somehow I lost the footage and you guys didn't get to see. I was leaving one finger open to show you how I did this uh, semi-French loop look to turn them into flamingos. So let me show you on a nail here. I'm using the Art Deco paint and I used it for the whole white design. You just want to get some paint on the end like that. I'm going to move it over here so it doesn't get in my way. All right. And so I just came to the nail like this. You guys are going to see it upside down. So maybe I should turn it around to show you if I can do that. Actually, I have to show you this way, but you'll get the idea. So I just started right at the top here and I did a small thin line and then I came around and I went around like this because that's where the French is going to be. 
and came up and met it right there. And of course, you got to kind of play, you know, around with it and stuff like that just to get it, you know, perfectly. But then I filled it all in and I just kept using the white paint and filling it in. Look at that, guys. If I do that, look at that. It looks like a swan. Wow, it just gave me an idea when I want to do a swan. Uh, swan. <laughs> that actually is even better than the first original that I said it looked like a swan in the beginning. But anyways, just be painting these like this and get that whole French tip filled in with everything I just did with this. You can get it started and then you could use a white polish if you wanted to, but I just, you know, just did it like this. And then I just came around to the side here and kind of went backwards, you know, kind of looping it like this so that it would give the illusion of, you know, the flamingo itself. So I'm going to go like this and just fill it in. And I did fill it a couple of times. I let it dry once and then I filled it in again. Um, and then, of course, I always cap the ends of the paint as well. And then you've got the idea of how I did that. And then, of course, I just went back in the polish and just kind of cleaned it up a little bit, went around again, went around, just kept playing around till I got, you know, that nice little loop there. And it was intended to be a flower on the end of it for the tropical look. And as I'm looking at it, it looked like a swan. And I thought, I'm doing pink. I'm going to do a pink flamingo. But that's how I did it, you guys. So I hope you got the idea. And then, of course, I let it dry and then I filled it in again. And then let me turn it around without getting paint on my fingers so that you can see it from that way. So basically, you're just looping around and then you just come down in a line and then fill it in so it gives it that French look. I'm going to insert this also in the toe design um, just in case you guys don't watch this one. You just watch the toe design because... I just went ahead and did the toes and figured I would throw this video in there just to show you because the toes are done exactly the same way. All right, guys, we'll see you in a moment. Okay, so now we've got all of them done except for this one and this one. I just want to show you how you do it on a small toe and how you do the pink flamingo. So actually, these are the four colors. It was um, this one I was missing was this one. So it's a burgundy, then like a lighter pink, um, like a Barbie pink and then kind of like a magenta pink. Those are the colors that I'm working with, all right? So we're going to start by just scribbling on with the darkest color and just any spot. You don't, doesn't matter where you put it. Just go ahead and scribble it on. If you get to a point where it seems like your marker isn't working, it's just because of uh, I have a top coat on. So, But it's better to have a top coat. And just scribble on the colors. Go through all four and just be putting them anywhere you feel fit because it's going to look great no matter what you do. All right, and then the last color here, just put some around. All right, now we're going to grab the alcohol I've got in a little, oops, I've got in a little cap right here. That's the cap that the alcohol came in. All right, and then I'm just going to go, I'm going to make sure you dab off. So you're going to get some on the brush and then dab off onto your paper towel and start going around. Dab, go around, and just go like that. And just keep dabbing because you need to dab this so that the color doesn't just like turn into just a big blob, but you want to cover up that white. So make sure that you are dabbing off and just going all around like that. Also to the tip because you can get it off the skin. Don't worry about that. Make sure you get the tip all covered. I'm going to get some more alcohol, dab off again, go into the same spots again. If you go in, you're going to see... It's going to like open up in spots. You see that? Actually, I should be drying in. Probably can't see that. Okay. So I'm going to be dabbing and, and dabbing off. That's what you want to do. And when you want it to be a little bit different, you get some more alcohol and you just go into that same spot and let it just open on its own. And then just be dabbing around, all around like that. Just getting the color all in and covering all that white. Okay, and just keep doing what you want. And the more that you get the alcohol and just dab in spots, it's going to open it up for you. Okay, and then like I said, make sure you get the end. Then what I want to do is grab the alcohol, make sure I clean the brush really good, wipe it off a few times, and then just go along the edge here off the skin. And it'll come right off the skin, even though this is permanent marker. It takes it off with alcohol. And there's a secret to this. My husband has a dry erase board and did something with permanent marker by accident and didn't know how to get it off. Well, guess what, guys? 
If you write on a permanent, um, a uh, write with permanent marker on a dry erase board, 91% alcohol will make will take it right off. I'm just kind of going in some spots and adding the darker color now and going through here. And then I'm going to go through it again, just wiping, keep wiping off and then clean in the area away from the skin, you know, where we have it done in the, um, the area, you know, where the neck of the swan, or I'm sorry, I keep wanting to say swan. It was a swan. <laughs> now it's a pink flamingo. All right, just keep going around. And I know pink flamingos are just one color, but I just thought we would have some fun with some different pinks because, of course, I do this to match an outfit. And then you can go along and clean up any off the areas that are the sheer part. Just clean it off. Make sure your brush is clean when you do it. And there you go. Just make sure you get all these spots filled in so that the white is filled in. If you see a spot that isn't, just go ahead and use the marker there. Okay. And go ahead and go like that and just clean it up. And now I'll clean it off the skin. But yeah, if you end up getting it like a, you, your child writes on your dry erase board with permanent marker, yep, 91% alcohol takes it right off. Yep, yep, yep. I even think it takes it off the wall, too. I'm not sure. But anyways, there you go. That's just a little tip for you guys. If you got some little ones at home, gosh, I hope that I was in frame for that. All right, now we're going to do the baby. And I'm just, again, going to just pick a couple colors here. And if the marker isn't working, just kind of turn the marker to the side. And we're going to do all four colors. I got some on my skin, but I'm not worried about it because it comes out of eight off. So I'm just going to do a few spots like that of all four of the colors. And the last one. And this one is pretty fun because this one gets done pretty quick. So we're going to dip into the alcohol again, dip off, and then just come up and start just patting, patting, and patting off. So you just want to keep patting your design, patting off, patting your design, patting off. Make sure you cover all the white. Okay, and then go back into your alcohol and dab off again. And now just kind of hit a few spots so it opens it up a little bit more so it gets more of a marbling design like that. And then, of course, you can just clean off the tip there. And now what I want to do is I want to add a little bit more of this darker color in. So I'm just going to come to the tip right here, and we're going to add a little bit more of that dark color like that. Like I said, just... Turn it to different sides if it's not working. It's just because we're working with alcohol and it's a shine coat underneath. So it tends to want to, you know, not work. Sometimes but the markers work fine because they're brand new. All right. Just like that. Isn't that cute, you guys? And now we've got them all done and just the one is the flamingo. All right. So now let's draw back out. And now what we're going to do is we got a big messy towel here. <laughs> That's okay, though. Uh, we're going to draw it a little bit more. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the um, head and the beak of the flamingo on one. And then I'll come back in and show you guys. Okay, so now we've got the one done there with his uh, black beak and the little eye. Let's draw in here so we can do it on this foot for you. Super, super, super easy. We're just going to get a little bit of black paint. Put a tiny little bit on the brush and just go right to the end. You're going to do like a triangle. So just go to one side, go to the other, and meet and have it come to a point. So it looks like the beak, and then just a little tiny black dot right up to the top part, like for the eye. Look at that, you guys. Now we've got pink flamingos. Isn't that awesome, you guys? I love it. So cute. Such a cute design. All right, so we're going to back away here, and now I'm going to put the crystals in. And I think I'm going to do some crystals on the small toes, too, since I did them differently. And then I'll come back in and show you guys that step. Actually, I got to do the glitter. Let me do the glitter, and then I'll be back in. Okay, now we've got the glitter running through this one and through the baby toes. I left this one and this one open to show you. So let me draw in here for you and get lined up here. And we're just using this liner here. And again, you just pick whatever spots you want, like on the fingers, just kind of run some silver through it. Um, whoops. <laughs> okay, we don't want that. I got it on the foot there. Sorry. All right. And then just, like I said, just put some through the design wherever you feel you want it. And I'm just going to. 
take that little bit off the top there. Hopefully you can see that. And then the baby toe, I just kind of went blah, 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 just to add some of the glitter through them. Just like that. How pretty is that? Got to have the sparkle. That's what makes it look beautiful. All right. So next step now is putting the rhinestones on. Let me back up here. I'm going to get the rhinestones going, and I'll be back in. Now we've got the rhinestones. We've got it on the flamingo. If you see that, I'll draw in, and then on the baby toes. And I'll draw in so you can see that. Isn't that cute? Adorable. All right, so now let's do these two, and then we'll be done, and we'll be top coating. All right, so I'm just going to grab a little glue here. We just got to do the small toe and the flamingo. So we're going to do the crown on the flamingo first. We're going to put a dot here, here, and here. Just a couple of glue dots here to put the uh, clear rhinestone right about there. And then we need some of these uh, darker pink colors. And there's there's two different colors in this thing. This thing is really weird. I got to make sure I grab out the right colors because... Yeah, I've been noticing that I'm getting two different colors. All right, so let me grab this darker one. And put that on this side of the flamingo. And grab another one. And put this one on this side. Just like that, so the flamingo's got a crown on. We got a princess flamingo. And then grab a little bit more glue here and put a dot, a dot, and a dot. And we'll do just a little bit more again. And same thing, we're going to grab a crystal, put that in the center there. Off the, the um, French look, though. Okay. And then put that down and grab these little stones because i got to make sure I get the right color. There's like two different colors in here. It's so weird. They're like almost the right color, but... They're just, they are off enough to notice. So it's like, okay, why is there two different colors in this container? All right. Oh, there was two with that. Okay. And that's the wrong color. I had the right color. And the wrong one went on. Okay. Right there. All right. Let me just get this off the stick here. Okay, and then they just are also kind of just next to each other, but up a little tad bit higher, like that. Isn't that cute, you guys? This design is really adorable. I absolutely love it. I was never anticipating to do flamingos, but hey, sometimes when you're doing design, something cute can turn out, like even cuter than you anticipated. I thought it was just going to be the flowers, and I do so many flowers all the time that I was really glad that when I did it, it looked like a... Uh, you know, the swan, like I said, and when I showed it to my husband, he said, it looks like a swan. So I said, what would it look like if it was pink? He said, a pink, a pink flamingo. So I said, that's exactly what I wanted. So let me just take my brush here. I noticed, um, I've got a little bit, I want to clean up here. Let me get my brush in this alcohol here. Just on the tip here, I just want to clean this a little tiny bit because I see it's got, uh, some stuff to the edge there. All right, I just noticed that. All right, so now all I got to do is top coat everything with the sesh feet. Um, you guys all know top coating. So I'm going to top coat off, and I'll come back in and show you guys the end product. All righty, everyone. I am all done. And look at these. Aren't they adorable, you guys? I love these pink flamingos. I think they are just adorable. I love the idea. I totally had a different idea in the very beginning. It was just going to be a loop with a flower on the end of it for the tropical look. And then when I seen it, like I said in the beginning, it made me feel like white swans. And I thought, well, I'm doing pink so I could do pink flamingos. I really love the way they turned out. I think they are gorgeous. I love how you can, you know, marble so many different ways, even with Sharpie markers. It's just amazing how many different ways you can do marbling and how it just turns out gorgeous. And I love this bright pink, perfect for the summer. I love the glitter through it. And I love the rhinestones, love the way it looks. And I love how it matches the nails I did on Monday. I hope you guys enjoyed this design. Everybody take care, God bless. And I'll see each and every one of you in my very next 
upload.